Some years ago now, a local historian was doing a project on the 1950s and asked me what school lads did as hobbies and interests in that period, the late 50s, early 60s. Um, I explained that uh, others, including myself, uh, built radios from parts that they got from jumble sales, dismantled sets, televisions, what have you built them up at home um, just for the sheer pleasure of it uh, this is one I built actually to show her how it was done it's a simple set it's a three valve plus rectifier simple regenerative circuit with an amplifier and with a small mains power unit built into it to provide the uh, heater voltages for the valves and the HT voltage for the um, valve anodes um, I'll switch it on, we'll see if we can get a signal out of it. It's running on an aerial about 20 feet of wire and it's earthed through the 3 pin main socket here running off the 240 volt mains. I'll switch it on and see how she goes. It takes a little time to warm up as all valve or as the Americans call them tube radios do. Quite a few stations on the medium wave band. And they raise both arms and keep them there. S. Speech. Is their speech slurred? T. Time. Just like a fire, it's time to call 999 if you see any one of these signs. The faster you act. Everly Brothers and Problems. Quite selective too. Stay Clark by Patches if you can. Ken Sam Radio, the best songs of all time. This morning we've been doing our Trifest competition. We have. Merger with the Cooperative Financial Services and our annual general meeting. If you're right. eligible to vote, your pack will arrive by the end of March. Vote at any time. I'll turn it round and I'll show you the construction. Or at the annual general meeting. Every vote earns a donation to charity. Monday evening at 11, only on gold. Right, the construction is quite simple. It's two pieces of plywood covered with tin foil to act as a sort of earth return and chassis. Um, there's a tuning coil here, wound, home wound, primary tuning coil, about 35 turns of wire for medium wave, overwound with about 10 for aerial coupling. The cathode of the, the um, regenerative detector valve is returned via a tap on the coil to earth to provide some electron feedback, obviously to provide the uh, um, oscillating setting for the actual valve itself it's the actual sensitivity of the valve rather it's um, the first valve is an RF pentode it can be virtually anything an EF39 a 6K7 any RF pentode will do uh, the tuning capacitor there's only one half of this used that's an old tuning capacitor out of a radio typical of what you'd get out of a schoolboy's junk box that's how I've built it odd bits and pieces one half of a tuning capacitor um, is used to tune the coil. The output of the first valve is fed into a second valve. That is a simple triode. That is an, uh, an ML4, a 6J5. Uh, any of that series of valves will do. Any triode valve will work, in fact, as an, as an ordinary audio amplifier. And that's followed by an output valve. That particular one is a 6V6, which you can use virtually any output valve and the power supply, the transformer, the rectifier and the smoothing capacitor and resistors are mounted underneath this little metal chassis here that just supports the whole thing and that's the loudspeaker. So that is a typical of a sort of radio set, medium wave radio that we would have built in the 1950s just for the fun of it.